camera rolling. Action. Your psychiatrist noted here that the source of your relationship back to your mother is the reason. That's a little pat, isn't it? Maybe. She used to lock me in her bedroom closet when she had her boyfriends over. Looking back at the experience as an adult, I can say that it was somewhat disturbing. Mm -hmm. To me, anyway. And how old were you when she did this? Three or four. When it started, I think. I was 11 by the time I realised that I was stronger than she was. Which meant? She couldn't force me. Into the closet. Anyway. So since your incarceration, do you think your attitude to women has changed much? I should hope so after 10 years of therapy. Do you ever fantasize about your victims? No. Do you dream about them? Not anymore. Do you dream about sex, Mr. Fisher? It's getting a little personal, isn't it, Miss Parole Officer? Just answer the question. Yeah. I dream about sex, but what man doesn't? But do these dreams about sex involve violence? Not anymore. Do they used to? Yeah, they used to. Is that how to think your views on when we've changed? In my life, or in my dreams? Either one. Well, how do you think you'd feel after you haven't been laid in ten years? <laughs> what do you do for relaxation then? I like to watch a lot of movies. Mm -hmm. I like court TV. Your favourite actress? <laughs> Jodie Foster. Favourite film? The Accused. Mr. Fisher, please. Look, what do you want me to say? You're asking me all these stupid questions, thinking that I might say something that you don't want to hear. But I'm not an idiot, Miss Walker. Just tell me. I'll make a deal with you. Tell me what you want me to say. How you want me to act, and I'll do it. Clean. Simple. It'll save us both a lot of time. I'm not interested in an act, Mr. Fisher. <sighs> sure you are. That's all anybody's ever interested in. Not me. I just want to know who you are and what your problems are if I'm ever going to help you live in this community. Really? Really. Now, for the time being, you'll report Tuesdays and Fridays, 10 a.m. What if that isn't enough time? I beg your pardon? What if I want to see you five times a week? I'll be making those decisions, Mr. Fisher. Okay. Are you free for dinner tonight? Sorry, schedule's full. Your time's up. No problem. I can wait. I'm patient.